in fact, were taxation and representation so essentially connected and so absolutely inseparable as Mr. Locke and his followers would make us believe, then most certainly every man's consent, the consent of every moral agent, of every sex and condition ought to be previously obtained for divesting him, her, or them of any part of his, her, or their natural rights and liberties in any respect whatever. For indeed, our personal rights are nearer and dearer to us, and are more essentially our own, our own property, than any adventitious accession of lands or tenements, goods or chattels. Nay, in fact, without the former, it would be impossible either to acquire, to enjoy the latter. <laughs>